guys! Hi. This is Lydia Wenty, the Hi. lifestyle Hi. coach. <laughs> yep, you know it. <laughs> and I'm here with my sidekick. Yes, life, life yes, that's true. Okay, let me say my thing, okay? Okay, okay? And we are out here. It's absolutely beautiful. beautiful. This was like my favorite weather in the whole world. It, it's it's uh -uh, sunny and rainy. Will you, will you stop interrupting, please? Yes. Okay, so it was raining and sunny at the same time. So the sunshine coming through the rain, I absolutely love it, it's my favorite. So we're just uh -huh. out here yes. in the backyard and we're like by the Ow. pool. And then we were like watching the rain come through the trees and the sun come through the rain yeah. and it was just lovely. Nah, nah, nah. And then I just thought that nah, we would nah. do like a nice little live feed here. With me. With you. Mommy and Eve time. Yes, so this is our Mommy and Eve time and our live feed time. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the topic. Will you be quiet while I do that? Yes, you okay. can tell me what it is. Okay, all right, so our topic today, um, for those of you just tuning in, my name is Lydia Wenty. I am a lifestyle coach and I help people to create and to break um, whatever habits they want in their life. So yeah, our habits are really all about what we do and we're gonna talk specifically about habits uh -huh. with the parable of the loyal hamster. Um, hamster! <laughs> this made sense in my head earlier, so I hope it makes sense to you too. But yeah, we're just enjoying our time It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, well you don't know about it yet. A okay. hamster about what? I asked you to okay, stop okay, interrupting. Okay, okay. So you can stop interrupting or you can go somewhere else while I do this. What do you wanna do? Okay. Okay, all right, so our habits don't just like appear there. Like our habits so are made and our habits are created. <laughs> so we just have something that comes into our brain and then we have this part of our brain that reinforces habits. It reinforces the same things. The idea from this part of our brain is, okay, we've done that before and so if we keep doing that, then we'll survive because those are the same things that we've done before and look, we're still alive. So it's not at all personal, like it's not like there's something wrong with you, it's just like, oh, that thing you've done before, your brain will reinforce for you to keep doing it um, because that's just what it does. It's kind of like a loyal hamster. So, okay, last time, if you interrupt again, you will need to go okay. somewhere else. Okay, so um, what we do is, it's imagine, Imagine a hamster on a wheel and it just goes round and round and round. Like it's that job, like the job of the hamster. That's kind of like how your brain works with habits. It is absolutely committed to continuing on the things as they were. So like round and round and round. And this loyal little hamster will just, it'll just keep going and reinforce those habits, but you can change it at any time. So if you take your hamster from that part of your brain and say, hey hamster, go on a break and think of the wheel that it's running on as um, the, the habit that it's reinforcing. So for instance, one habit of thought or a habit of action might be, uh, go ahead and eat the whole bag. Like if you start eating I'm into hamster. something, um, then go ahead and eat the whole bag. So that's something that your brain will just keep on reinforcing and that's okay like it's nothing personal it's just like oh well that's the thing that we've always done so that's the thing we'll keep doing and we continually reinforce that so we say hey hamster go on a break um, and we will switch out its wheel okay so we're giving it a new wheel as in a new habit to form but it's not gonna feel as natural as the old one so the way that we kind of place a new habit in our brain is we uh, shine a light on our old habit. So that's sort of what I, what I call the chatter. So what happens is like we just call it out, you know, we shine light on it and say, okay, so I have this habit of, or the chatter is saying that I need to finish the whole bag, right? So the hamster's on a break and we take this wheel that says uh, finish the whole bag, that thing that we've reinforced over and over and we give it a new wheel. Maybe it's like, um, I'll be mindful of my eating or I'll you know, stop when I'm full or you know, I'll have the amount that I decided on or whatever it is that you want to do new in your life, then you do that thing. Um, and the way that it starts, and you can make that habit just as strong as the other one, but you go ahead and replace it and then you strengthen it. So your, your hamster's on a break, that little loyal hamster that keeps that old habit going and you set a new wheel, like a new habit beside it. 
and you say, okay, hamster, I want to start reinforcing this new thing. And your, your hamster is really loyal, so it'll do its job. And its job is to just keep going on the wheel, keep it going around. But because it's used to the old one, it'll go back to the old one unless you kind of give it that reminder. And that reminder is shining light on the old habit. That's a bullfrog, by the way, in the background. In case you're wondering, there's like a little pond over there. Uh -huh. And that's a bullfrog saying his thing. So just in case you're wondering <laughs> what that was. Okay, so you're just mindful of it and you keep on like putting the hamster on the new wheel. Like, oh hey, you know, bring awareness, attention to this new habit and you just keep on putting that hamster on the new wheel. Uh -huh. And it's gonna naturally go back to the other one because that's the one that it feels safe about and that's the one that you know has promoted your survival in the past um, but if you just keep on putting it on that new wheel it's actually going to get just as familiar with that one as it is the old one until one day your loyal hamster that shows up every day to reinforce whatever habit will just come in and it'll go to the new wheel it'll go to the new habit of like oh yeah i stop eating when i'm full or i pay attention to when i'm full and i stop eating whatever that is that you want to reinforce that new shiny wheel um <laughs> it'll go to that one automatically and you're going to start reinforcing this new habit and it'll be just as strong as the other one and eventually because the hamster hasn't run on the old wheel for so long it just goes away like that old habit that's the way that your brain works what fires together wires together so if you don't have that constantly turning if you don't have that habit constantly reinforced then it just gets weaker and weaker mm -hmm. and the other habit that you've reinforced gets stronger and stronger so that's kind of how it works with the parable of the the loyal hamster so any of those actions or thoughts that you have that seem automatic and I say seem for a reason because nothing is automatic it's just the things that we've reinforced that they feel so natural it's just that that path that neural pathway in your brain um, those synapses firing together and you can change that at any time it only feels automatic and it only feels natural because you've done it so many times so anything that feels automatic whether it's a habit of thought or a habit of of action or the way that you eat or the way that you live or the way that you think or the, the thoughts that you say when you look in the mirror the only thing that there is to do to change it is to start reinforcing a different habit and it can get just as strong and the way that we start breaking that down is that we call out the chatter um, for more information on what I mean by that if you're not familiar with it you can go to LydiaVideo.com I come out with new videos every Monday about uh -huh. the principles how to change habits in your life um, and you can find out more there but shine a light on the the existing habit and then just keep on reinforcing the new one and your hamster is just it's loyal so it'll keep on doing its job so don't be upset if it gets redirected um, and goes back to you know its old wheel just be like oh hey remember we're running on the new wheel and your hamster will say squeak 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 and then because you know, understand hamster you'll know it means oh so sorry silly me totally got mixed up your brain really wants to do what you want it to do it just isn't always clear on what that is because we've been reinforcing an old habit so just realize that whatever seems automatic is only that way because it's been reinforced you start reinforcing something else and it's something that you can really look back on and realize like oh wow I used to do that thing automatically and I haven't for a while because you've mindfully brought your attention to a new habit so it's one of those things that doesn't come all at once it's with repeated you know action that you reinforce the habit but it is absolutely possible with any sort of habit or uh, patterns in your thought in your life so go to uh, lydiawenty.com for a free ebook on how to stop binge eating and be successful at anything else more about how these neuroscience and mindfulness principles can work to your advantage in creating whatever life that you want and this is Lydia Wenty the lifestyle coach it's me signing off Mwah. Mwah.